require my assistance. What's up guys welcome back to some more spongebob lights camera pants for the pc told you guys i was gonna finish it and i'm gonna keep my word damn it little tim you ready sorry i didn't mean to slap you that hard. all right all right all right thank you all right sorry sorry all right i'll see you guys when we get loaded back up oh boy here we go all right guys we are back so, hold on, I just need to take, so on the last episode, we did a bunch of dumb shit to get some actors and some props to help out the new Barnacle and Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy movie. Uh, we had just cured Mr. Krabs. Um, I think it's just time to move on to a new area. Um, uh, okay. Jellyfishers. Bunch of random shit. Anything to click on? Nope. Kevin's a sea cucumber. Whoa. <gasps> it's the harpoon from Jellyfish the movie. Ah. Uh, okay. More exhibits. Oh, look at this guy. Good afternoon, Bikini Bottom. This is Mac Mackerel coming to you live from Mac the convention Mackerel. center in downtown Bikini Bottom, hoping to catch first-hand coverage of the big unveiling. That's right, the largest pearl to ever be recovered from the ocean floor is making its first public appearance right here in Bikini Bottom. All right. What's that? I'm sorry, we seem to be experiencing some technical difficulties right now. Please excuse us for this uh, broadcast delay. Our technicians will be working to fix the problem. Okay. It's just a random crown. Mac Macro. Hi, what's going on today? Today was supposed to be the big showing of the ocean's largest pearl. But we just got word that its delivery has been delayed. To make things even worse, our camera guy brought the wrong equipment, so we can't continue filming here anyway. Hmm. What happened to the pearl? We're getting mixed reports, but one thing is for sure. Without a really large pearl to show off, I have no story. What's wrong with the equipment that your camera guy brought? The power supply he brought is run with a solar-powered collector. What's wrong with solar power? Nothing. Except we're indoors right now, aren't we? Ah, there's no <laughs> Indoors, yeah! Sorry, yeah. kid. I don't have time to talk. No, no. I, Kevin C. Cucumber, head of the Jelly Spotters, use only the finest jellyfishing nets. Next question. He looks horrific. Oh my gosh, it's my other hero! Kevin C. Cucumber, head of the Jelly Spotters. It's only the most premier jellyfish enthusiast club. Now's my chance to talk to him. Hi, Kevin. What do you want? Hi, Kevin. Oh my I god. I said, what do you want, kid? Hi, Kevin. <laughs> Hi, Kevin. Okay, cut it out. <laughs> could I become a member of the Jelly Spotters? <laughs> a twerp like you could never become a Jelly Spotter. Why not? Well, for starters, I bet you couldn't catch a jellyfish even if it swam right into those ridiculous pants of yours. <laughs> Look who's talking, Mr. I'll Pickle. I'll have you know that I'm an expert jellyfisher. Yeah, sure. 
What makes you think you're an expert? Well, once I caught the famed King Jelly. <laughs> That's a riot. Next thing you're going to tell me is that you live in a big pineapple, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, uh... Well, where is it then? I released it back into Jellyfish Fields. Okay, then I tell you what, kid. If you can catch the King Jelly again, I'll let you become a member of the Jelly Spotters, and I'll even throw in a free tube of Kevin C. Cucumber's Sting Protection Ointment. Okay. Uh, whoa. Oh, it's a mini game. Um, okay. Uh, 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 wait, what, wait, wait, oh, come here, you bitch. All right. No, no, no. Oh, I got stuck. Oh, get it, get it, get it. Oh. No, you dick. Yes, come in here. Yes. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, quick, quick. Yeah. We're the kings. I got a prop. You happy, mister? Well, Whoa. here he is. It. It can't be. Nidaria Rex! The King Jelly! Can I be a member now? Uh, I, I, I guess so. Here, take this. Thank you. Hey, Kevin. Now that I'm a fellow Jelly Spotter, I want to ask you to be in a TV show I'm casting. So let me get this straight. Now that you've ruined my reputation and defamed me, you want me to be on TV? You bet! Well... That makes just about as much sense as everything else around here. I'm in. Yay. Oh, see you later, King Jelly. Nice to meet you. Uh, research area. I guess that way. Whoa. Look at this guy. Biologist. Wait, is that literally all that's here? It's just this hey there. What you doing with all this equipment? I'm attempting to begin a comprehensive study on the migration patterns of the amazing life form known as the jellyfish. They're pretty cool. Really? I just love jellyfishology. Yes, well, that's all well and good, but uh, unfortunately, I don't have enough power to supply to my various instruments and devices. Without their calculations, I cannot complete my study. Uh, what's wrong with the power supply? What's wrong with your power supply? I only have one battery to run all of this equipment, and it doesn't have enough power. I should have brought a solar-powered energy collector. The sun is shining so bright today that it would certainly be enough to run all of my equipment at maximum efficiency. Just rolling all those R's, huh? Can you tell me anything interesting about jellyfish? Certainly, although it may shock you. I'm ready. Eh, I I'm get it. ready. I'm ready to hear about jellyfish. Well, most people see the jellyfish as a mindless blob of goo that drifts through its life with no purpose. However, I have discovered that they are actually a superior alien race whose plan is to boldly go where no jellyfish has gone before. And they pick Bikini Bottom? Well, my studies have found that they are searching for a mysterious portal that leads to another realm. According to my calculations, the portal should be right here, somewhere in the jellyfish fields. It's like some fucking... Can't remember the name of the fucking... Goo Lagoon? No, not yet. Oyster! Is there a more majestic creature than a wild oyster? Jellyfish jelly. I bet they won't mind if I take a little jelly. Wait. Oh, they minded. They very much did mind, SpongeBob. I never noticed this cave before. What the fuck is this Lovecraftian shit? Oh. Oh, wait. YOLO. Pshaw. What could be dangerous about jumping headfirst into a gigantic swirling purple vortex? That it's you and not me. 
That wasn't head first, SpongeBob. What the? Was it? Wow, just sand. Even though you can find it all over the ocean floor, there's definitely something special about this pile of sand. Yeah. Jungle. Go this way. Hey, it's Squidward. Or Squidward. I've been here before. You think Maybe so? Someone who lives around here can tell me where I am. Through sticks. Now who would go and leave two perfectly good sticks just lying around? Are you okay? I haven't seen anyone get stung like that since the great jelly scare of 47. Squad ah nah. That's a lovely self-portrait. It must have taken days to chisel it. You should really get some sting protection ointment on those welts. Squawk! Ah! Ah! There's no need to get excited. I'll get you some. Here you go. Where is it? There you go. There you go, Squawk. Uh. It worked! You're as good as new! I must say that you're looking a lot less creepy now. <laughs> How oh, would a cultured art lover like yourself like to conquer the art form of acting? Hey, squawk! No, no, no giant jellyfish will be allowed on the set. Squawk! You'll do it? Wonderful! Okay, I'm glad you understood that, SpongeBob. Look at little Gary there. Hi there! I'm sort of lost. Would you mind... Sometimes! What's that you say? You're doing some weird stuff with I your tongue. I see. You're tired of eating seaweed and want some jelly ice cream instead. Of course I can understand you. Ice cream is the universal language. I'll be back as soon as I can find some. Okay. What about Gary here? All right, enough fucking with Gary. Berries. Oh, get, no, get the get the berries. I need you really believe all that nonsense about staying away from wild berries. Uh, yes, I do. I should probably make it a rule to steer clear of any massive steaming lakes of goo that I come across out here. Okay. <laughs> Is there a more majestic creature than a wild oyster? I think not! Uh... It's just... Wait, what? Is that the only reason to come over here? Maybe give it something? Here, have the Maybe sand. Maybe this little fella can use a little extra sand for his bed. Really? That was the solution? What? 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 <laughs> What, what was your what was the point of that spongebob hey patar well hello there you know you look just like my best buddy patrick except you're a little bit well hairier <laughs> wow you sound a lot like him too what you doing out here? Well, silly, that's because you should cook your food before you eat it. It doesn't look like you have a fry grill anywhere close around here, so we'll have to come up with something a bit more primitive. Like rubbing two sticks together. I'm sure this will work, just like it does in the movies. It never does. That's some wrist action right there. Oh, yeah. There you go. Now you can eat some decent grub. 
<laughs> well, I guess you can cook the grubs into grub that you can rub on. Uh. Now that your tummy feels better, would you mind if I signed you up to be in a TV show I'm helping to put together? We got my daughter, Of course, there'll be free food. We have catering. We got Great! I'll see you soon! Nice. We got Patuar. Well, good luck, Patuar. Holy shit! Wow! That little guy sure grew up! That is one huge oyster! Uh, oh my god, you just, Did you see that face? What the fuck? Mother of Pearl! Is this Pearl big enough? Uh Holy okay. sea cow, where'd you get that? Never mind, that's definitely big enough. Hey, I'll uh, tell you what. As a reward, you can have the solar powered collector. Maybe you can find a use for it. Thanks, Maine. What about wait? Okay. When your report is over, do you think you might be interested in appearing in the new adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy TV show? Well, I am great on camera, but I'm still a journalist at heart. Hey, maybe you could do an investigative report about what it's like to be on a hit TV show. Yeah, yeah. Documentaries are huge these days. Count me in. They still are, yeah. Sweet. Will this contraption help out with your power problems? Hmm. Why, yes. It most certainly will. Once I connect the solar collector to my devices, they will begin functioning properly again. Wait. I can't thank you enough for your help, but here, take this battery. Wait. Uh, what do we do with it? Although it was not enough to power my equipment, it may still be of use to you. Wow, thanks! Whoa. I know you're very busy, but I'm casting a TV show called The New Adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, and I would like you to be in it. Can I bring some jellyfish on the show? Sure, every good superhero show has some aliens in it somewhere. Okay. Hi, that's a neat uh, thing you have there. Is it for making really big sand castles? No, it's a metal detector that I use for finding buried treasure, but it's really not much good for anything right now. Why is that? Maybe is the battery What's dead? Wrong with it? The problem is oh, sweet. That its battery is dead. I got so the thing for you, Mimi. It's not fair. I was so close. Ooh, have you found any treasure? No, but I know that I'm close to the greatest treasure in all the sea. What treasure is that? Why, the lost treasure of the infamous Flying Dutchman, of course. Legend has it, he buried his treasure right here on this beach. All I have to do is find it. Well, great story. I'll say, too bad this darn metal detector is useless now. Not anymore. Battery. Will this battery get your metal detector working again? Hmm. Yeah, I think it will work. Now just give me a moment. Aha! I've got something! Damn. Didn't even have to have a shovel. Uh. That's it? One measly coin and some dumb piece of paper? I knew I should have listened to me mother. She told me to stay in school and become a doctor. But no. I had to go off and become a treasure hunter. What a waste. Here's your share, kid. Uh, thank you? Wow, thanks. I guess. What is it? Use map. That isn't going to work. Okay. Now that you've found the treasure you were searching for, would you like to be in a TV show? Sure. I gotta pay the bill somehow. Right. See you on the set. That's another one. Now we got a map. Hey, Larry, you look fucking how's your dead. Workout going today? Hey, SpongeBob. My workout was turning out truly righteous today. My pecs were almost bursting out of my shell. But then the worst thing happened. Oh no, what? Well, I was over at the Pincher Press and I was using some pretty gnarly weight. During my last set, I slipped and overextended my thorax. Now I can't even finish my workout. Uh, okay. Maybe you should take it easy for the rest of the day. No way, little buddy. A lifeguard has to stay in perfect shape. 
I mean, people's lives are at stake, dude. Can I do anything to help? I need some fast energy to make sure I don't pull any more of my muscles. The juice bar makes a great drink with wild berries that really works great, but... But what? Can't you just get some of this wild berry energy I got some drink berry. from the juice bar? I would, but they're out of the wild berries. I got you. I got you, Larry. This guy. I need a wild berry energy drink. You mean a crustacean cooler? Yeah, sure, that's it. Well, we're out of wild berries, and I don't have the recipe anymore either. What did you do with the recipe? I gave it to some guy with two hands. He's a bouncer at some place, supposed to be really tough. If you can bring me the wild berries and the recipe together, I'll make you some crustacean cooler. Okay. Uh, what's in here? I really need to learn how to swim. Oh well, at least I can catch some nice rays. I'll just head in there and slip into my bathing suit. Okay. Hey, hurry up. Just a minute, please. There's other people out here waiting, you know. I said just a minute! All right, that's it. If you aren't coming out, then we're coming in. This place oozes evil. Oh god, they're getting... I didn't do anything, I just wanted to put on my clothes. In. Wow, that was easy. Oh no, down the wheel, no. Why did you, why? Why do you do this to me, bubble bass? Welcome to the Salty Spittoon. How uh, tough are you? I'm, uh, really tough, so, uh, I guess I'll be going in. Only, of course, if you say it's okay, sir. But, sirs. Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry, kid, but I've seen grandmothers that are tougher than you. Yeah, me too. Shut up, you. What makes you so tough? Um, well, I... Never mind that dummy. Take this recipe, kid. Thanks. It's about time you showed up. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Now get out of here and get to work. You're beautiful. What was that? Oh, I can make the episode now. Nah, we ain't done. What the hell? Marwin? Hey, Marvin. Marvin. How's it going? SpongeBob, stop made that it face. SpongeBob. What do you mean, finally? I mean that you finally admitted to your weeniness. But I'm not a weenie. But you are here at Weenie Hut Juniors. I do. Business. What's the best thing to have here? The jellyfish jelly ice cream is the best, but they're all out of jellyfish jelly. But they still have plain ice cream. Eh, just ask the guy at the counter and he'll give you some. Alright. Well then, why do you hang out here? I have learned to embrace myself as a weenie, and I'm not ashamed anymore. Believe me, you'll be a lot happier when you freely admit that you are one too. But I'm not a weenie! Do you want to be in the new adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy TV show? Um, that depends. On what? Is the show based on the challenge of the League of Super Acquaintances or the later and definitely less cool Mermaid Man and his Finny Friends Adventure Hour? I don't know, but I bet Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy will sign an autograph for you if you do it. Oh boy, I'm in. Yeah, sweet talk, bad nerd. What's up, robotic? Ooh, can I have some ice cream? Coming right up. Here you go, weenie. Thanks, me. But I'm not a weenie! Weenie. 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 But I'm not a weenie! Uh, do I do it like this, then? Well, squeeze me dry and call me Gerald. It works! Gerald. Okay, one crustacean cooler coming right up. Here you go. That's, um, that looks pretty good. Wait, 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 wait. I'm busy here, kid. Whoa! Awesome! Is it a show about lifeguarding? Well, it is a show about heroes. Count me in, then. As long as I can work out between takes. Okay. Maybe other dude will be, uh... Nope. He doesn't want anything to do with it. 
Are we done here? I think we're done. Oh wait, no, I need to give uh SpongeGar his shit. Oh my god. You probably have a bit of a brain freeze right now, but would you like to be in the TV show? It looks fucked up. Glad to hear it. Mr. Hammerstein is sure gonna be happy about this. Okay, more actors. I think we're done here. for now. I will return.